same circles. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you this evening? Uh, about to get the cussed out. But anyway, how old are you? Well, I'm going to get cussed <laughs> out for that one. I am 35 years old. All right. What do you got for me? You had a question? What's up? Um, well, actually, I'm just joining in. I've been trying to join in for a while, so I saw that you were live, so here I am. Um, previously, I see that the question says why, so I don't really know. The question was, why don't your friends like me? Why don't, why don't your friends <laughs> and your, mom, your family members don't like my content? That's what it was, but that was a long time ago. So. Well, I can't answer that question. I'm sorry. So go ahead. <laughs> so what do you got? Uh, so for me, myself, um, I, I'm a 35-year-old woman. Um, I have three children one of which is a 16 year old an eight year old and a nine year old um i've been married i was married for five years i've been divorced now for six years um and i've been kind of using that time to get myself together why are you making faces am i talking I'm doing to math you? i'm doing the math <laughs> go ahead go ahead i'm just doing the math go ahead okay um so my first child is 16 i had him uh when i was i got pregnant. so what do you want though what do you want though um, I want to be in a relationship. I want to be in a marriage. I want to have uh, equality, and it's very hard for me. Yes. Equality? Equality as far as a woman's voice being heard, and not I'm not trying to be overpowering, but I want to be respected and loved in the way where my voice is heard, too. As a businesswoman, like, I have to make decisions and do things that my voice has to be heard. So, who cares about you? You can be you can be heard all day long in the business. That ain't that shit relationship. This is and now this is another point too that I'm I'm coming to understand. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, were you in relationships where your voice wasn't heard? Um. Well, yes. Like, uh, no. Well, I mean, you didn't have any say, or these or you didn't get your way. Those are two different no. things. No, my voice was not heard. In my marriage, my voice was not heard. Um, so that was, I, I was married to a man who was very wealthy. <laughs> and, okay. and he kind of wanted me more so to just be at, at, at home mom and not have okay. to ask All right. And Okay, so did you have to work? Um, uh, I did not. I did not. Okay. Did not so you, work. so but did you start working after your divorce? Um, I started, I, that was kind of the thing is I, I started working and pursuing my nursing and school. Okay. So he was wealthy. Correct. And instead of being happy with being married to a wealthy man who could provide for you, you wanted to go out to work like most women don't want to do. I have a mind. Yes. I, 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 most women don't want to have to work and you were in a position where you didn't have to. I'm just being clear. Correct. Because every day women come on here and they don't want to work. So you had a husband that was wealthy and you chose to, okay, well then you get nothing. Okay, so now moving forward. You get nothing. How do I get nothing? Why, why do I get nothing? Because men don't want women like you. I'm not, and I'm finding that very true because I can't. They I, don't. I, they don't. Because <laughs> if a man was wealthy and you were married to him, mm -hmm. did you file for divorce? Uh, no, I, I, I did not. I, initially, I did, but then I waited. And then, uh, like a couple of years later, he eventually filed. So you initially filed. You were the initial plaintiff. Correct. Did you close that case? Oh, are you still the plaintiff on the divorce action? No, I closed the case. Why did he file for divorce? Um, I guess like after years of entanglements and what what have you, he started to have an affair outside of the relationship. So he divorced you because of what? What do you mean? You said he filed for divorce, so he was the plaintiff in the action. What was the reason? Um, at this point, he had another another pregnancy like it, it, it was messy so he divorced you because he had a mistress pregnant correct and but, but but you were but this is also you were working at this time at this time i was attending school full-time correct all right so he married he wanted to he wanted a, a wife to stay at home and have his children correct and you wanted a career correct but then you shouldn't have married a wealthy man yeah i was young no 
But see, you took advantage, but see, you also took advantage of that wealth and that lifestyle. I took advantage. No, of no, the- ma'am. You took it well. You took advantage of the wealth and the lifestyle. I mean, meaning you enjoy that. But you what, didn't, listen, what? I don't. I, I hear very well. You can pull that bullshit on somebody else. You can't pull it on me. When you were married to a wealthy man, it meant you have a standard of living that you could not afford with your own skills. You could not afford the lifestyle you had. It came from him. The home, the car, the food, the everything else. And you chose to go out to work where most women don't want to. And then you, so now you got it. You don't have the wealthy man because you decided to leave and he decided to go have affairs and get somebody else pregnant. Well, you decided to leave too. Correct. And I guarantee you, he's probably better off with it. And you out working with three kids in a wrecked home. In a wrecked home? Yeah, you wrecked your own home. Home records. You wreck your home. You decided to go to school and go to school full time because the money you were making doesn't change the wealth. You didn't need to do it. What you okay. did, what, what you didn't, you didn't need to do it. If he was wealthy, you didn't need to do it. Okay. Now, if he was wealthy, you didn't need to do it. You may have wanted to do it. You didn't need to do it. Okay. True, I, true or false? I I hear what you're. Saying. I'm asking no man. Is that true or false? You said wealthy. Meaning he didn't need you to work. He Correct. was paying. All right. So that was selfish. You wanted to do that. And that's fine. That's fine. But you got what comes with it. So now you're out in the dating market with three kids, 16, 8, 9. And a woman who's a, a nurse, one of the least attractive professions out there. I'm also a business owner. One of the least attractive things, another one of the least attractive things that a woman can be. A nurse and a business owner, a mother of three. You got five things that don't nobody want, plus a divorce. And that, and and how much was how much was the, the man you were with? What, how much was he making annually? How wealthy was he? Uh, he was great with investments. Right. So, how much annually? Uh, at least I would say eighty to a hundred thousand a year. It's not wealthy. Wealthy is hundreds of thousands of dollars. He was middle class. So what do you call wealth? Um, I consider wealth having investments, being able That's to- not wealth, man. Wealth investments. You got a 401k. That's an investment. That doesn't make you wealthy. Interesting. It's not interesting. You got a goddamn fidelity account. That doesn't make you wealthy. Wealthy is money that makes money on top of money. Wealthy people don't work. Did your man have a job? Uh, yes. At, okay. school, at that time, yeah. Okay. But the bottom damn line is, how have you got to, man? You got you wanted to be a career woman. You got a career. Correct. And you got a business. Correct. You got no time. And, and three kids. Correct. You've got no time for a man. And, I'm, and, and truly, that's why I'm here, because I don't have really that much time for a man. And I'm, I'm somewhat content with, I'm content with my life. I like content. Until your children get old. Until, until, your, I, until, your, until your eight-year-old recognizes, I've got to get out of here. Cause, and then in 10 years, you'll be how old? Correct. In 10 years, I'll be 45. Yeah. And then it gets real. I can understand so you, you. But you said you want to get married. Um, I would love. Yes, of course, I would like. I would love to get married. But no, but but marriage is important. You know, you exactly, want, and that's what I'm saying. But I'm but no, but what about what about the mentality of pers- uh, pursuing your passion of who you are and men don't want to marry fem- ma'am. Men don't want to marry feminists. Men don't want partners. They want wives. Like what your husband, men don't want you. Women don't want men. Men don't want women who move like you. That's why marriage is on the drop. All this shit you're talking about, your passion, this has got you single. Well, that's the so be it. Yeah, so die alone. (laughs) So I'll never die alone. Oh, yeah, I I mean, die, yeah, you know, die alone means you're not going to have a marriage. That means you got your kids. And you you got three sons? Correct. Hopefully they'll go off and have their own lives. They won't feel like they need to take care of their mother and feel guilty. 
I hope they I hope they hear my content and realize that their mother made her own choices. So oh. if she wants to be there. So and you can be a nurse and a business owner and fulfilled and spirit and it's cool, but you don't get a man of value because men of value want women who are more traditional. You're a modern, uh, more liberal woman. Fine. But that doesn't work in traditional relationships. And the kind of men that you, that, that, and the kind of men that you would kind of be attracted, I mean, the kind of men who would be cool with that, you likely wouldn't be attracted to. Well, yeah, it's just, it's, it's really hard for me to be attracted to any man, to be quite honest. And then, <laughs> good. Then go, then go buy a cat. I have a dog. No, but that's not what I meant. Okay. The problem isn't the men. Okay. The problem isn't the men. I mean, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not saying that the problem is the men because I've met and I've met some really great men. So I'm not bashing any man. I didn't say you were. I'm just saying that it's abnormal for human females to be alone. It truly is. So you're living counter to your nature. Yes. Human and beings didn't evolve to be like you. Yeah. So you can you can say what you want, but when this video is over, you're still living counter to your evolutionary biology and your nature. And correct. And that's why I say, yes, I do want to be married one day. No, no, I no, no. You want to be a husband is what you want to be. I absolutely do not. Okay. You want to be married, but marriage has roles. Correct. You don't want to be a wife. You want yes, to be a partner. I want to be a wife. Okay, you but were I, a wife. I just happened to you were a wife table. before. God ma'am, ma'am, you were, what you've described and what I've heard is equality and being heard. You want to be a partner. I want that's to be, not, I want that's to a be partner. A that's a partner, ma'am. It's a partner. It's not a wife. Correct. And I, men are not looking for. What you're talking about is modern marriage, but we are partners. Men are not looking for modern marriage. It's on the decline in the West. Every race, oh, okay. men no. don't want women that move this way. I, I need you to understand that it doesn't matter what you think. Men don't want women like this. So are you telling me that every woman who's on here listening right now should not work? that's where I'm getting a little confused. I didn't say every woman on here should not work. I don't care what you do. You accept the outcomes. If you want to be, if you want to be an individual, you want it to be heard. You wanted your business and your career. That means you were an individual above your marriage. That means I got into a marriage where I shouldn't have correct. Man, it doesn't matter. You have children. And you have, and you had a duty. Are you a Christian on top of this? Correct. Yes. Yes, correct. Okay, well, then where in Christianity were you allowed to leave your husband? I did not. Or were you? I mean, not leave. But... You're allowed to divorce. You're allowed to separate based off of infidelity, in which. Uh, I... but you did. But but also, ma'am, you also know that your husband didn't want you to go out working either. He did not want me to go. He he did not want me to go to school. But thank you. But there was a point in our relationship where he got hurt. And okay, I had okay. To so this is what I mean. I'm not going to debate back in semantics. Men don't want to do this right here. You're right, man. Be right. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. Men don't want any part of this. You had your bite at the apple. You were married. You had a man who wanted a wife to be, and he wanted to take care of everything. You wanted a job and a business. You got it. So, no, you you got it. You got three question. kids. You have no future. 